behind every great mustache is a giant dick. Hey guys, I'm actually getting ready for a new movie role. Playing a badass. Oh wait, that's just my life. What's up guys, I'm feeling like shit right now. I actually am uh, kind of sick at the moment. I hope everybody out there is doing well. Um, what I want to talk about, I want to address something. Uh, one of the comments uh, on the last video is, why do you have a love-hate relationship with this revolver? Um, the 7 shot 686 plus and I just want to tell y'all real quick um, I want to just give you the truth about this gun alright <clears throat> bought this gun back in 2000 and 13 or 14 I've had it for years over 10 years uh, it's not 10 years quite anyway I put a lot of rounds through it I used to really Abuse the fuck out of this gun. And what I mean is that I would throw it in the dirt and run it and do the torture tests. And I would run heavy magnum loads because they were cheap back then. And I'm talking Fiocchi 142 grain. Back when you can get it for 20 bucks a box. Anyway. Uh, the truth about this gun is that it is a fantastic trigger. I go back to the original factory grips because they feel really good in my hand. They're actually quite concealable. Uh, carried it in the waistband. I've done North Carolina PPSB with this revolver and outshot all of the semi-automatic shooters on the line with a 99%. Um, and those are with Magnum Lowe's. However, the truth about this revolver is that I've had to send it back, not once, but twice, to the factory to get fixed. I'm not talking about minor shit. I'm talking about I had to send this bitch back for catastrophic malfunctions. The yoke screw right here completely sheared off the first time. It needed to be repaired. The second time, I was shooting this gun and I could not hit my target. And it turned out that the barrel had come loose and was actually canted down. Talk about frightening. If either one of those things happened in a fight, um, it could cost me dearly. So... Uh, I feel a little bit betrayed by it in some ways because of those malfunctions, but the reason I still carry it is because when I got it back from the factory, Smith & Wesson took care of the problem quickly both times. Um, I've since then, and this was years and years ago, ran countless rounds. You know, I would like to say a thousand, but I don't know for sure. Through this gun with no problems whatsoever. Um, I like the full underload barrel. I like the extractor rod, the full extractor rod. Um, it's absolutely a, a tank. It's a workhorse. It's made for continuous magnum use. That said, I just want you guys to know that if you're, and I think that the Smith and Wesson has fixed the problem because. Back in those days, those particular guns were getting a lot of issues. Okay. So, you know, it's something that I think since then has been fixed. If you guys have had any issues with your gun, let me know in the comments. However, if I had to recommend it, I would tell you to get a six shot, 686, or an original. That is a dash one, two, three, four, five, six, something without the Hillary hole in there. All right. Um, take care of it. It's important to clean this gun when you get a chance. That way you can see when you have an issue. And that's when I found the first issue was when I was cleaning the revolver. So it is a gun I trust my life to. Um, I'm going to continue to watch it closely and train with it. Um, and I do recommend it. <clears throat> uh, however, take that for what it is. I have had issues with it. So, 
in addition to that, you're gonna run this gun. One of these holsters is a must. This is an inside the waistband sticky holster. It's an LG5. It's ambidextrous. It has an adhesive material. They run for about $29.99 in my area. And they're fantastic holsters. However, they also can wear out over time. Um, so make sure, uh, and really I'm not sponsored by these people or anything, but I will tell you that they're the only company that makes a concealed holster for this size weapon. And that is why I use it. So, I hope that's helpful. Am I forgetting anything? Okay. All right, guys. Stay head up, eyes up, and we'll see you down the road.